Hi, it's Chester at Blue Pecan Computer Training and in this video I want to show you how to calculate the current age of our members of staff here. Also the age of these people on a specific date and also show you how to return that age with both the year and month in it. Let's start with current age. First function you need to know is the today function. Today function returns the current date and it keeps it up to date. Today is the 25th of January 2021. Tomorrow I'll say the 26th of January 2021. Next function you need to know about is year frac. Year frac calculates the number of years between two dates. The start date will be the person's date of birth. Let me drag this out of the way. Comma, your end date is today's date. Don't need to worry about basis for these types of calculations so just close the bracket press enter if you get a date as an answer just reformat the cell as general or number i would want to round down the answer no matter what that first decimal place was even if it was 43.6 they're still 43 years old so i need to round down and i can use int for that that will return the integer of that calculation it down and there we are I have the current age for each of our members of staff if I want to calculate their age on a specific date say in the future same thing really use year frac start date would be their date of birth comma end date would be d1 where you've got the date I can't click into it so I'm going to type it in you need to fix it because you're going to be copying this down I used f4 to fix it if F4 doesn't work, then type the dollars in. There's one before the letter, one before the number. And again, to return an integer, use the integer function. Copy it down and you have their age on a specific date. To show the year and month portion of their age, a little bit more involved, we'd use a function called date diff. It won't appear in the IntelliSense list. Date diff has three arguments, not shown in the screen tip, unfortunately. It's start date, end date, and then the unit of the calculation you want to return. Do you want to return the year part of their age or the month part of their age? You can only return one unit at a time, so we're gonna to have to do two date diff formulas and then concatenate or join them together. We'll start off with year. The start date would be their date of birth end date is today's date then we want to calculate the years in quotation marks you put your y in close the bracket and it returns the year part of their age for month date diff same thing their start date the end date today's date now if i put in m you'll see that what it does is return the total number of months, not the number of months over their age in years. To get around that, all you do is you put Y in front of that M. And to understand that, if you click on this little link here in the screen tip, it'll either open up a web page with a help file or it'll show the help file in this little task pane here. And you can see all the units that you can use, Y for year, M for month, D for day, we used YM, which is the difference between the months and start date and end date. The days and years of the dates are ignored. You could also do the same for days if you wanted to show the number of days old they were over the years and months that you'd already calculated. Let's press enter here. There we are, I have the number of months. If I want both of these in one cell, what I have to do is concatenate them. So I'll copy the year calculation into here, and then I'd use ampersand to join together or concatenate results. I'd want to say 43 years, in quotation mark, space, years, space, quotation mark, press enter. Then I would take the month calculation, copy that, and do another concatenation. Say ampersand, paste in the month's calculation, ampersand and in quotation marks months press enter and then copy it down it returns a text value 
that describes their age. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully you found it useful. If you have, please subscribe and I'll see you next video.